Another E3 is now in the books and man oh man did we have a lot of JRPG goodness for us fans of the genre. We saw the reveal of the next Tales of game, Final Fantasy VII Remake showed up with a new trailer and more importantly Tifa was summoned to the battlefield to kick ass and take names. It was also announced that we're getting a full blown remake of a Japan only title now known as Trials of Mana. And really that's just the surface of the JRPGs shown at E3. Even with all the JRPGs we got there are still some missing in action and some of these games have been announced for years now. Tokyo Game Show is usually where the Japanese games are showcased but E3 seems to be a place where even JRPGs can strut their stuff. So here we are with 4 JRPGs missing at E3 2019. If you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and you want to see more. Anyway guys let's get started. Shin Megami Tensei 5 Ever since it was announced with the unveiling of the Nintendo Switch in 2017, information about Shin Megami Tensei 5 has been sparse. We got the initial trailer and then some months later we got a teaser trailer and since then all the information we got on this game was that the game is still in development. Listen, I know SMT5 is going to be a great game and we got plenty of games to play now and in 2020, but it's kind of annoying when a game is announced so early that we can't even get what the main character looks like. I'm sure we will see more information on SMT5 in the coming months or at least sometime this year or maybe even at Tokyo Game Show. I'm still of the belief that the first trailer that was shown of this game was just left over Shin Megami Tensei 4 for apocalypse footage that was never used. Maybe it's just Atlas has too much on their plate right now with Persona 5 Royal or something, I'm not sure. Well, I know my Switch will be lying in wait to play this game whenever it releases. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim Announced at Tokyo Game Show 2015, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim was a game I was heavily looking forward to. Coming from the developers of Dragon's Crown and Olden Spear, I was looking forward to playing an action style game with beautiful 2D artwork. But this game has just been missing in action for the longest time now. Earlier this year, the game received a paid demo, yeah, you heard that right, a paid demo featuring the prologue of the game with barely any gameplay. So now I'm not sure if this game is going to be mostly a visual novel with any actual battles going on, maybe just rarely, which if that's the case, it's probably going to kill my excitement for this game personally. As you guys should know, I'm not the biggest fan of visual novel games, but I'm always willing to give one a shot to get me interested in playing them. If anything, the art style will get me invested in this game. Either way, I hope the West at least gets the prologue demo released soon. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Developed by Platinum Games and Psy Games, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is an action game that looks to have a lot of promise. A shame we haven't seen much on this game other than the initial bulk of gameplay we got some months ago. The staff of Platinum Games seems to have left the project and now 100% of development is on Psy Games. Still, they have the basis of what the Platinum Games staff made and it just seems like their partnership or contract has come to an end and Psy Games is handling the rest. Hopefully this doesn't impact the development of the rest of the game and we don't see a clear cut difference between the stuff made by Platinum and the stuff made by Psy Games. But the early gameplay videos making the rounds have shown us I can't see this game becoming a disaster. At the very least, the combat will be fun to play. I'd like to see more in this game in the coming months or maybe at TGS we will see more and whatever new characters they have added to the game. Yeast 9 March for its September 26 release in Japan, it would have been nice to see an official English announcement for the game releasing maybe sometime in 2020, but alas, Yeast 9 was nowhere to be found at E3 2019. Would have been nice for Xseed or maybe even NIS America to announce the English localization that's inevitably going to happen. Well, I know how some of you feel about NIS America localizing games with their recent track record not being anything to write home about. Either way, I'm looking forward to playing Yeast 9. In the Yeast series, I have played Yeast 7. Yeast Memories of Celseta, and Yeast 8. And those games were great JRPGs that everyone should look into if you haven't already played them. And I feel Yeast 9 will easily follow suit. I can't wait to see more in this game in the coming months. And like all the other games on this list, maybe, just maybe, it will make an appearance again at Tokyo Game Show. 
And there you have it, 4 JRPGs that went MIA at E3 2019. I'm sure there's a lot more JRPGs we could have seen at this event, but these are the ones I cared about and questioned where on earth could they possibly be. I wonder what JRPGs you guys felt should have been at E3 2019. Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and of course subscribe if you want to see more content about a Japanese role playing game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.